In this short video, we will show you how to get the best results using the flush cut cartridge. Remember, always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment when operating a PowerMax sink. To begin, make sure the system is turned on with the torch in the lock or yellow position. Also, make sure the work cable and input gas supply are properly connected with the ground clamp attached to the workpiece or table ground. Next, install the appropriate flush cut cartridge into the smart sink torch. Flush cut cartridges for PowerMax sink systems are black. Once installed, the system will automatically set to the proper mode and amperage based on the cartridge type. With the cartridge installed, align the flat side of the copper cartridge shield along the base plate. Hold the torch approximately quarter of an inch or six millimeters away and just off the edge of the attachment. If the shield is not aligned with the base plate, loosen the cartridge and adjust by turning the shield in the desired direction. Reinstall the cartridge and verify alignment again. Repeat if necessary to correctly position the shield for best results. Once the cartridge is aligned, move the torch lock switch to on. The first time you pull the trigger, you will get several puffs of air from the torch, indicating the torch will fire the next time you depress the trigger. You will also notice the LED status light will change from yellow to green. You are now ready to cut. While maintaining the quarter of an inch or six millimeters standoff from the attachment, make a dry pass. Make sure there is no obstruction or debris in the travel path. Lift the trigger's safety cover and press the red trigger switch. This will create a pilot arc that you will drag into the attachment. Once the arc is transferred and cutting begins, the plasma arc should exit the back side of the plate. Move the torch in the direction that you are cutting. For proper flush cut travel speeds, you should notice sparks staying in line with the torch. This process is different than typical hand cutting so you will need to adjust your speed accordingly. Continue cutting along the base plate until the attachment is completely cut and can be removed. After the cut is complete, you will notice residual material left on the base plate. Use the flush cut washing process to remove additional material. To do this, lower the amperage on the torch, then activate the torch again, and slowly move back and forth over the residual material without damaging the base material. If delicate washing is needed, you can lower amperage even further and then repeat the process until the desired result is achieved. For additional information, consult the operating manual or visit the Hypertherm Cutting Institute.